Imagine a country of 10 million people living with almost no rivers, no rainfall, and summer so brutal that crops can die in a single afternoon. And yet, this nation didn't just survive. It engineered one of the most advanced water systems on the planet. It forced rivers to flow where no rivers should exist and turned the Mediterranean Sea into an unlimited reservoir, now supplying up to 80% of the nation's drinking water. In a world where more than 2 billion people already live under severe water stress, this country achieved something almost no other nation in similar conditions ever has. It became water secure, creating a blueprint for how humanity might navigate the water crises of the 21st century. Which country pulled this off? And how did it out-engineer the desert itself? This is the story of Israel, the nation that decided the desert would not have the final word. That's when Israel made a radical pivot. Israel doubled down on a solution most experts at the time considered unrealistic, desalination, transforming seawater into fresh water at national scale. Not as an emergency backup, not as a drought supplement, but as the backbone of the country's entire drinking water supply. They built five massive desalination plants, including Sorek, one of the largest and most efficient in the world. Today, up to 80% of Israel's household water comes from desalination. The Mediterranean Sea became a reliable, drought-proof reservoir. Israel also recycles over 90% of its wastewater, the highest rate in the world by far. For comparison, the second highest country recycles around 30%. This water is purified and sent directly to agriculture. Crops grow using water that's already been used once before. Israel effectively decoupled food production from natural rainfall, a feat few nations have ever achieved. The 21st century will be defined by scarcity, water scarcity, energy scarcity, and resource scarcity. But Israel demonstrates something powerful. Scarcity isn't destiny. Systems design is destiny. And in a hotter, drier, more volatile world, the nations that survive will be the ones that engineer their future, not wait for it.